You are not using these funny paper things, huh? Contraceptive? So uncomfortable. You are too hard. You are too to me and open to the taters. Won't take long to win at this rate. Oh, yes, good, good. Abba, you will make me a prize for the time with the dwarf, man. You are not using these funny paper things, huh? Contraceptive? So uncomfortable. I would rest my head in this mud. This mud. This mud. I would rest my head in this mud. This mud. You are in this kind of paper things, huh? Contraceptive? So uncomfortable. Oh yes, good, good. Abba, you will make me a prize for the time. You are not losing this kind of paper thing, huh? Contraceptive? So uncomfortable. God, that's a little lie. I would rest my head and just eat this. Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and Nat cutting it. What have you local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> Oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. Take it to enslaving natives, rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell, he's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done.
wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? Find him. Come. I'll show you how. Business to meddle, the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. There will be a presentation of the latest sacred choral works from several Vienna based composers at St. Paul this coming Saturday. Such scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shame, eh? Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled east, no doubt in search of a tat of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for hire. Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Set them songs about us. Last thing town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Watch the 
trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Mm -hmm. Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you're raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Tomorrow, by the Belfry, his latest flying contraption. With me, you have always much choice and no power. Locked. Mm. 
I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide hence, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very... Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many. I can't really decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin, but that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was, but you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> You'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself an sake, I will. You are absolutely... Who... Who are you? Wait, well, at your service. I... I don't understand you here. Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let him deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitkins.
I'll take you to him. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. One good week, sir. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! Oh, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir. It's... It's... Nothing but... Hey, them. I suppose I surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Here for but a few weeks. Turn him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You're not... Edward. Listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. I think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done what could have it. So are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master... What? You'll see. Let's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Oh, hell. Quick! 
is my brother, and a better man than this. We should not. All debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Go on, then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing us some doubt. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. And I considered him a close friend. He was brave, as few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French, and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us. Begging for safe passage. I consented. But Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find... misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly check. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. I hope you and the General find a way to patch things up. Don't let me keep you, sir. I'm sure things to do. Gentlemen. I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Word arrives from France! <laughs> <laughs> regarded by all Englishmen!
Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. the world and I'll cut them down. What over there? Me and you. Who's your officer? Hey, Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What a... He dies. I know when you're ready.
Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardy. Cutter, you know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? Me like grammar's been. Know when you're ready to strike. We got them. What are you talking about? Prisoners. Stop slouching. Prisoners? That stop slouching. Only you can tell me what to do. Men do not exist. Understood.
quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this madness. I expect an ex- And it had best be good! How has happened? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! See, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood?
Stop the interloper! He's Thank the you. one responsible! Glad to have you with us. Who are you? Name's Hatham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I keep. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect.